Singapore, whose focused policies and dogged implementation of same transformed Singapore from a third world to a first world country in a single generation. In Delta State, Governor Fanyokoa is towing a similar path to change the story of his people by spearheading a policy that focuses on the Delta Beyond Oil philosophy. We know that people are constantly with them to bring solutions to their problems, so the zeal to succeed, the healthy competition this time that now comes amongst them is such that it helps them to build themselves up. Having identified job and wealth creation as a sure route to fight the scourge of unemployment, poverty, and turn around the state economy, Senator Ifanyokoa adopted the Human Capacity Development Module to achieve this. The state government is thus investing millions of naira in training young Deltans in different skills and trades at different vocational training centers scattered across the three senatorial districts. The World Bank has adopted the 141 centers that we use and ready to use more. Communities are beginning to say, we need vocational skill centers because they also begin to realize that that is a gap that exists in our education. It did promise that it was going to develop the human capital uh, the direction. And that area it had done very well because the majority of the youth that are trained have uh, been gainfully employed by themselves, assisting and employing others. That is a human capital development area you have done very, very well. Principally, the administration has paid attention to human capacity development module. This mindset influenced the policy that gave birth to skills training entrepreneurship program STEP, youth agriculture entrepreneurship program YAGEP, and Production Processing Support Program, PPSP. Under this broad categorization are many trades and crafts. Capacity building is the way to go in the present day. There is a slogan in the youth that says, build the youth, build the nation. Building them to be able to stand on their own is the way to go. And that is what His Excellency Senator Dr. Fai Okowa want to ensure that food is put on the table of every person within the confines of Delta so that everybody will be satisfied. It is not how loud you are, but what you can present. Now the issue is consolidating in all the strategic things he has planned for Delta State. Iseluku is home and host to the Delta State Footwear and Leather Products Training Center. This is the lead vocation training center in the state where many young Deltans are trained not only on leather works but many other crafts as well. It opened for business on the 23rd of January 2017 with initial 280 trainees who went through a thorough selection process. Executive Secretary, Delta State Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises Development Agency, Shimite Bello, whose agency oversees the center, conducted our team round. So these are uh, a few of the things we make here. Some of our products have been sold because on the other side we do aquaculture. So the same way you have like Ralph Lauren or Gucci that mixes fabric with their leather, we are mixing aquaculture with some of our to give it an uh, identity for Delta State. Some of the trainees at their workstations, busy making footwears, share their experiences with us as they display their craft. When I saw good things coming out from this government, I decided to key in to this uh, uh, training and I discovered that it's going to be helpful to me and not just to me alone in person, to my family. So many things I learned from here really helped me a lot because now I'm organizing training on my own, imparting knowledge to people. Because of the idea I got here, I'm also an lecturer in Delta State Polytechnic of Guashuku, where I teach them on ski acquisition, leather works. The trainees further applaud the policies of governments for instituting hands-on training. If not for the government of Delta State, for me to go and learn, I need to spend a lot of money Buying leather alone is very expensive. Anything I wear, and I can make it myself before I go to the market and buy. But me looking at what you are wearing, I know how to go about it. I've been 
wanting to go into shoemaking and I've been trying to go for courses to acquire the skills I need. I went online and most of the courses they were quite expensive and running into millions. So I decided to go to ABBA to go and acquire um, some basic training. Interestingly, I made the move. I got to ABBA, um, paid someone, paid for one week in the hotel accommodation and suddenly I got a text message from this place telling me to come for training and when I got here I found out it was wonderful all the equipment were excellent. Madam Shimita Bello explains that the Okawa led administration has since realized the need to support these boarding entrepreneurs with microcredits for them to stand firm. Our agency is um, given the mandate to give out microcredit to help build SMEs all with the aim of seeing that enterprises can stand uh, on its own and entrepreneurs do not fall into unemployment. Smart Delta Media team, having felt the satisfaction expressed by the trainees at the Iseluku Trading Center, thought it wise to further explore the Governor Ifanyo Kowa strategy to defeat the scourge of unemployment. Our quest for more facts and figures and how impactful these training centers and sessions are on the beneficiaries and its potentials for turning around the economy of the state took us to Abraka where we met OBA Believe. He is a trainer in interlocking and has over a dozen trainees but we met only two on ground as most of them were sent out to different sites to handle some practical jobs. Emaniru Onorode and Akbojewe Anthony, the two trainees we met on ground, applaud Governor Koa for what they describe as his life-changing policies, which they agree is transforming the lives of young Deltans by turning them into entrepreneurs. My next step is to move into Ashon, get a place of my own, start producing, I can also have some youth of this community to be trained as well, so that they can have something doing on their own. Because of this program, I'm going to be a director, an employer of labor in the nearest future because I've gotten a good occupation, a good profession that we add as a source of livelihood to me and my family. OBA Believe on the spot is happy having the opportunity to teach and mentor these ones. He believes the policy should be sustained for a longer term benefit. The zeal they put in in learning this trade when they start up their own business and with the strategy and with the little I'm giving to them, the sky will not be their limit. Welcome to Delta. My Delta, my Delta. Ah. Welcome to Delta. I'm Delta, my Delta. Come live in Delta. Come invest in Delta. Come explore the potentials of our state. Better run, run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okoa is. They do it better. Run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okoa is. They do I see your job and wealth creation in Delta. Make the youth set them higher. Okoa, I see good roads everywhere in Delta. Make the people say them cola. Our next spot of call is the ancient and bubbling town of Sapele. Here we had an interesting time with Imade Vera Justice, CEO of AY Touch Studio and Event Management. She has six trainees under her watch in two vocations of catering, baking and confectionaries and event management. Gonu Orishimatosa and Ukwedolo Best who are trainees in event management say the knowledge they are getting will liberate them from the shackles of poverty. In this country now there are no jobs. 
this is an opportunity for me to grow. It's an opportunity for me to be a better person. To the state government, a very big thank you. It has really helped me with this program. It changed a lot of things in my life. And for their colleagues, Okboru Templar and Echanomi Oke, the future couldn't have looked brighter as they are grateful to government for providing them the platform to learn a trade and give them a life which they hope to extend to others. Somebody like me who graduated some years back looking for a job, with this empowerment program, I can stand on my own. If I'm earning what the salary earners are earning, why should I go looking for a job? Start this one now. I'll open my home. I'll be doing my catering work. I will sell selling catering things. Vera Justice, the instructor, is very proud of her trainees, whom she said have been very receptive to her teaching methods. In fact, some of them have started making money while still undergoing training. All of them are very willing. And since they came, have not had any issue with any of them. They are very good at it. And most of them, they even do at home. Done with Sapale, we moved to Wari, where we met Bessie Ikomi, CEO of Sam's Catering and Confectionery Services and instructor to the trainees. We met her training session in full bloom as she tutored her protege on what she called breakfast services. Bessie believes her trainees are the best on account of their passion and eagerness to excel. My trainers, I, I can say about three, four that are doing well. One did a job. I saw on Facebook. I was happy because one, I trained that person and she has even got seen some people to train too. For trainees Oyemire Samson, Glory Akbamujere and Eo Mazino Ekberere, the opportunity to learn a new skill was a dream come true as the prospect of becoming entrepreneurs and owning businesses of their own that once looked impossible is becoming a reality. I've really benefited from it and I appreciate Senator Dr. Ifan Yokoa for this opportunity that he has given to me. I've started looking for a job of which by the time they give me my starter pack, I'll use that to start on my own and employ more people. I really appreciate and thank uh, the state government for what he has done to me because he has already affected my life with his uh, cooking and the rest of it. I'm with my voters card. Whenever I come, I will vote for him. I truly want him to come. With the aroma of freshly baked cakes from Sam's still lingering in our nostrils and the thoughts of savoring our takeaway packs also permeating our thoughts, the town of Ozoro beckons as we were eager to see what those in electrical installation were doing for themselves. Air Max Electrical was welcoming as we met Emmanuel Ogbaide, the instructor, and his trainees, Oride Oenekome and Ogberio Oreva, on site, wiring a building. Ogbaide informed Smart Delta Media team that he has trained several others before now who are doing well, and that a practical session like the one we met was the fastest way to teach trainees. He believes the government policy of vocation and skills acquisition was spot on. They are so wonderful. You can really see it's not something that we just planned today. We never expected that you come in today, but on your arrival, you saw that we're all working in the site. So this is a very good impression to tell you that they are really willing and ready to learn this. The trainees, like many others, were happy for the opportunity. For bringing this to eliminate poverty in our society, and I believe Delta youths are going to take the boom by the hall by transforming Delta State as a whole. This training has really kept me busy for a very long time. I, since I, I graduated from my secondary school for the past five years now, nothing to do. After the Star Park, I'll try and build up something for myself with this. We also visited the Welding and Fabrication Training Center run by Umwafe Johnson, the MD of John Afe and Sons. Here we saw lots of iron works fabricated by the trainees under Umwafe. 
Both trainer and trainees were happy about developments in the polity as they look to the future with hope of becoming better persons with new skills in their kitty. With the little they are learning here, if they carry it out and establish their workshop like the ones that have trained before, most of them today are self-reliant. They are no longer running after the big men or guy with halo so that they can have little things from them. Today, they are minding their work. With the knowledge we have here, we will establish on our own. At least, we will use the idea to forward. Especially me, I want to be more than Moga so that you can see me as a proud uh, apprentice. I stand in Tokowa for everything that is all to do to make Gatans youth and the old men and women. It was empowering many of us. At the fashion house of Patricia Kuku in the rustic city of Abo, we met a fashion and designs class in session. Kuku says she considers herself privileged to be chosen as a trainer. She sees her contribution as a tiny part of important history. She has nine trainees, some of whom have started making clothes for sale. With these skills now, they are really happy doing the work. They really want to learn. So that zeal in learning is there. They are really picking up less than three months. They can cut clothes for themselves. They can sew very well. Sometimes I feel they'll be ahead of me, which I'm, that's what I'm praying for them. Her trainees are happy to be part of government policy with the ability to change their stories, putting them on a solid pedestal for our profitable and secure future. Last year I was deported from Libya. On my way struggling and I saw someone that introduced me to this program. I tried my luck and it will work for me. I pray that it will help me permanent and make me a great person I intend to be. I want to say a big thank you to our governor for giving me this opportunity. Depending on man alone, it's not easy. Everything, man, you want to make your, you tell your husband to give you money, you want to buy everything, but with this now, I will be a madam of my own. Asaba, the capital territory, has its own fair share of training centers. The first that caught our attention was Millicent School of Hospitality and Management Studies, where we met a baking class in session. My the trainer, is, uh, Mrs. Joyce Mrs. Akeni, Joyce. says her sessions are fun-filled, following eagerness of our trainees to learn. A student that acquires everyday practical for a good three months, you'll be able to boast of doing a tangible thing. If people visit their business outlet, they will know that, yes, they learned well. Mrs. Patricia Nene Phillips, a mother of one, is glad she was able to bake a cake for her little girl's birthday, courtesy of her new skills. While Mrs. Okawe Elizabeth and Omojo Ojitewoma are full of smiles for the opportunity to benefit, they look forward to establishing their SMEs when done with the training. I've achieved a lot. I know before we finish it, by God's grace and with the help of the states, I will do something more than they expect. I'm looking forward to establish my own firm and to be a trainer to other people. For me to achieve it, I have to be here consistently and consciously knowing what I'm doing. And that is what I've been doing, trying to be here to achieve every necessary knowledge I need to know so that I can achieve what I really want to. Audio visuals and ICT were next on the cards and our fact-finding mission landed us at Upper Williams Schoolville Training Center. The training here is multifaceted as trainees are grilled in movie production, cinematography, ENG editing, video shooting and more. This center has 14 trainees. The trainees are eager to master their trade and launch into their business proper. ICT is taking over everything. If you are not literate in ICT services, that means you are backward. So I want to join the race and help the state to as in partake in the movement. The first time I came here, I don't really have much knowledge of what cinematography and editing is all about. But ever since we started, I can boast of 70%. Another important training facility in the state is the Delta State Vocational Education Center, Asaba. It is a huge facility 
with hundreds of trainees in different vocations doing their thing. We ran into the Commissioner for Special Duties Government House, Honorable Henry Sakra, who heads a special youth intervention training and empowerment program with over 200 trainees under his purview. He explains why this program is so important. The very first day we flagged up this program, we invited back of industry to come and be part of us and to also advise us on how these people will have access to small loans in order to set up their businesses. Under his purview are fashion and designing, electrical installation, catering, plumbing, hairdressing and many others. The desire to expand the frontiers of skills trading has propelled Governor Ifanyo Kowa to revamp the once moribund six technical colleges in the state. Besides the massive reconstruction of the school's building, the administration has invested heavily in the re-equipping and retraining of available manpower at the technical schools. Don't do, don't do. I choose to do this kind of profession because I just feel like it will be good, it will help me, and I don't want other people to think because you are gay, you want to be a you want to do this, you want to do that. As a matter of fact, now I can pull out the top slider, I can fix in the piston, and also dismount the piston. Today, the students of these technical institutions are looking forward to a brighter future and possibly break new grounds. In technical and vocational education, it's no doubt yielding dividends. These students have the benefit in studying in a brand new laboratory provided by the state government in conjunction with some other donor agencies. This, of course, offers them practical experience in teaching and learning, which aids the impartation of knowledge. I'm going to be speaking to one or two of them to hear what they have to say about their experiences. Practicals in this school really helped me a lot and I thank the school and I also thank the government and I thank Okoa for this suitable environment for us. Practical classes makes you to understand more than theory classes. An interesting development that Smart Delta team discovered was the eagerness with which learning a trade is fast becoming fashionable in the state. The trainees say skills acquisition is the answer as they prefer being their own bosses rather than wait for non-existing white-collar jobs. Empowering the youth through skills and not with a white-collar job. So for me, it's, it's a dream come true. He has really fulfilled the smart agenda purpose. Initially, I had this... Um, flair for sewing but i was not able to really get into how to make sewing but when the program came and i got admitted it was wonderful and um, going somewhere those who are into agri and aquaculture as well as animal husbandry are already doing well in their trades i would like to to continue not only in this uh, vegetable tomatoes crops i want to extend it to cabbages, carrots and all that after these three months uh, they give us. This opportunity has actually made my dream while I was a child to come true. With the Delta State Government's module of boosting the economy through the development of these trades, the future can only be better as the beneficiaries develop through time, train others and expand their business frontiers. Say them cola. Come live in Delta. Say me I say. Come invest in Delta. Come.
unexplored in potentials of our state.